It all starts in your mind. Everything, your success, your health, your happiness, is influenced by your mindset. Making a change begins with a decision, a belief in transformation, and a vision of what you want to achieve. Just look at the most successful people in the world. They share an unwavering dedication to their goals. Arnold Schwarzenegger, for example, would break into the gym to train when it was closed. This kind of drive is what gets you out of bed at 5 a.m., excited to work, learn, or train. It keeps you focused, pushing boundaries, and achieving breakthroughs. Belief in yourself attracts attention and increases your chances of success. It's the law of attraction. You have to believe in yourself before others will. But what if you already have everything you need to be happy? Maybe it's the hedonic treadmill, the constant pursuit of more, that's keeping you stuck in a cycle of dissatisfaction. This book will change that. You'll learn how your brain works, how to control your thoughts and emotions, and how to be happier, more confident, and more attractive. You'll overcome fears, achieve incredible focus, and reach peak physical condition. You'll become captivating, energetic, and ultimately, the master of your own mind. In the next chapter, we'll explore the basics of how your brain works. We'll uncover the illusion of self-control and how our minds are influenced by billions of neurons, firing and connecting to create our experiences, emotions, and actions. By understanding these processes, you can take conscious control of your brain and shape your destiny. Our feelings about specific situations are governed by a complex interplay of hormones and neurotransmitters. While similar, there are distinct differences. Neurotransmitters are produced in the brain for short-term effects, while hormones are synthesized throughout the body for longer-lasting impact. However, they work in concert. The brain's pituitary gland plays a crucial role in triggering the body's hormone production. How hormones and neurotransmitters work together. Imagine en contering a lion. Your brain, recognizing the danger based on past associations, triggers neurons to fire. These neurons release neurotransmitters like dopamine and cortisol, increasing your alertness and signaling a significant event. This heightened brain activity activates the pituitary gland, which releases adrenocorticotropic hormone, ACTH. ACTH, in turn, stimulates the adrenal glands to produce epinephrine, adrenaline. This cascade sets off a chain reaction in your body. Your heart races, your breathing quickens, blood vessels constrict, pupils dilate, and you experience a sense of dread and anxiety. Blood clotting increases, pain perception decreases, muscles contract, and digestion and immune function are suppressed. Essentially, all your resources are diverted to your brain and muscles to prepare for fight or flight. This entire process is automatic and driven by your body's instinctive response to danger. It not only changes your physical state, but also how you think and perceive the world around you. It can even influence how others perceive you, impacting your interactions and decision-making. Beyond fight or flight, the constant hormonal symphony. While this example illustrates a dramatic response, these changes aren't limited to life-threatening situations. Our bodies constantly undergo a symphony of chemical and hormonal interactions, influencing our moods, thoughts, and behaviors. For example, the neurotransmitter serotonin, often referred to as the happiness hormone, contributes to feelings of contentment and well-being. Melatonin, another neurotransmitter, regulates our sleep-wake cycle. Dopamine, the motivation molecule, sharpens focus and memory, particularly under stress. However, it can also narrow our creative thinking, making us fixated on the task at hand. The dark side of stress. Dopamine's double-edged sword. Chronic stress, unlike the immediate threat of a lion, can also trigger a similar but milder stress response. This ongoing stress, whether from work deadlines, financial worries, or relationship issues, leads to continuous changes in the body. These changes can manifest as impaired digestion, weakened immunity, 
tunnel vision, and heightened fear and anxiety. Over time, chronic stress can significantly impact our ability to relax, enjoy life's pleasures, and even harm our health. While dopamine can increase motivation and focus in the short term, prolonged stress can lead to decreased dopamine production, resulting in fatigue, difficulty concentrating, and a lack of motivation. Stress and social interactions. Stress can also affect our social interactions. It can be perceived as a sign of anxiety or fear, undermining our confidence in the eyes of others. For instance, appearing stressed in front of a competitor can make them feel more dominant. Similarly, feeling nervous when approaching a potential partner might inadvertently convey a lack of self-assurance. The power of managing your stress response. Learning to manage our stress response can be incredibly beneficial. It allows us to better focus when needed, perform under pressure, and project confidence in challenging situations. By understanding how various neurotransmitters and hormones influence our moods and behaviors, we can take proactive steps to regulate our stress levels and cultivate a more balanced and fulfilling life. In the next chapter, neurotransmitters and incredible abilities. In the following chapter, we'll delve deeper into the fascinating world of neurotransmitters and explore how they can unlock incredible abilities within us. We'll discuss the flow state, a state of heightened focus and peak performance, and how specific neurotransmitters contribute to this experience. We'll also explore how understanding these chemical processes can help us maximize our creativity, productivity, and overall happiness. Our emotional responses to situations are regulated by a complex interplay of hormones and neurotransmitters. These chemical messengers work in tandem, with neurotransmitters produced in the brain for short-term effects and hormones synthesized throughout the body for longer-lasting impact. However, their functions can overlap, as some neurotransmitters can act like hormones and vice versa. The brain's pituitary gland plays a crucial role in orchestrating this symphony, triggering the body's hormone production. The lion and the chemical cascade. Imagine encountering a lion in the wild. Your brain, recognizing the danger through learned associations, triggers a series of reactions. Neurons fire, releasing neurotransmitters like dopamine and cortisol. Dopamine heightens alertness, while cortisol signals a significant event. This heightened brain activity activates the pituitary gland, leading to the release of adrenocorticotropic hormone, ACTH. ACTH signals the adrenal glands to produce epinephrine, adrenaline. This surge of adrenaline sets off a chain reaction. Increased heart rate and breathing. Your body prepares to take action. Vasoconstriction and dilation. Blood vessels constrict in some areas to conserve resources, while dilating in muscles to enhance blood flow for quick movement. Pupil dilation. Your eyes widen to take in more information about the threat. Inhibition of non-essential functions. Digestion and immune responses are suppressed, prioritizing immediate survival. Increased blood clotting. The body prepares for potential injury. Pain reduction. Endorphins are released to mask pain, allowing you to focus on escaping. Muscle contraction and tremors. Your body prepares for fight or flight. This entire process is automatic and instinctive, ensuring your survival in the face of danger. It not only affects your physical state, but also your thoughts, emotions, and perceptions. Beyond survival, the ongoing hormonal symphony. While this example highlights an extreme scenario, the interplay of hormones and neurotransmitters is a constant occurrence in our bodies. They influence everything from our mood and energy levels to our appetite and sleep patterns. For instance, serotonin, often called the happiness hormone, promotes feelings of well-being and contentment. Melatonin, a neurotransmitter produced in response to darkness, regulates our sleep-wake cycle. Dopamine, the motivation molecule, plays a crucial role in focus, learning, and reward-seeking behavior stress and its impact. Stress, 
whether from a looming deadline or financial concerns, can trigger a similar but milder physiological response to encountering a lion. This chronic stress leads to ongoing changes in our bodies, affecting digestion, immunity, focus, and mood. While a short burst of dopamine can enhance focus and motivation, chronic stress can deplete dopamine levels, leading to fatigue, difficulty concentrating, and a lack of interest. Moreover, stress can impact our social interactions. It can be perceived as a lack of confidence, potentially affecting how others view and interact with us. Harnessing the power of hormones and neurotransmitters. Understanding how these chemical messengers influence our physical and mental states empowers us to take control of our well-being. For example, manage stress. Practicing relaxation techniques like deep breathing and mindfulness can help regulate stress responses and reduce cortisol levels. Optimize sleep. Establishing a consistent sleep routine and creating a sleep-conducive environment can help regulate melatonin production, improving sleep quality and overall well-being. Boost mood. Engaging in activities that release endorphins, such as exercise or spending time in nature, can naturally enhance mood and reduce feelings of stress. Improve focus. Eating a balanced diet rich in nutrients that support brain function, such as omega-3 fatty acids, can help improve focus and cognitive performance. By recognizing the complex interplay of hormones and neurotransmitters, we can harness their power to create positive change in our lives. This understanding opens the door to optimizing our mental and physical health, enhancing our relationships, and achieving our goals. Your brain's state and performance are not solely determined by thoughts. They are deeply intertwined with your biology, lifestyle, and the intricate connection between mind and body. For instance, the simple act of eating can significantly influence your mood and alertness. The science of food and mood. Consuming carbohydrates, which contain the amino acid tryptophan, leads to an increase in serotonin, often dubbed the happiness hormone. Insulin, released in response to the rise in blood sugar, helps absorb glucose from the bloodstream for energy or storage. However, Tryptophan remains in the bloodstream and is transported to the brain, where it's converted into serotonin. This is why we often feel a mood boost after eating. As we become full, the hormone ghrelin signals satiety, helping prevent overeating. Serotonin then converts to melatonin, the sleep-inducing hormone. Melatonin, along with other inhibitory neurotransmitters like GABA, decreases brain activity, explaining the post-meal drowsiness many experience. The role of light and darkness. Darkness also triggers melatonin release, contributing to our sleepiness at night. Additionally, adenosine, a byproduct of brain cell energy consumption, accumulates throughout the day, leading to fatigue. Conversely, Exposure to sunlight or bright light suppresses melatonin and triggers the release of cortisol and nitric oxide, promoting wakefulness. This is why a cold shower or a bright light can help you feel more alert. The adrenaline released in these situations also contributes to the hair standing on end sensation. Hunger and irritability. Interestingly, hunger lowers serotonin levels, increasing the ratio of cortisol, stress hormone, to serotonin. This explains why we often become irritable when hungry. Leveraging your biology. Understanding these connections allows us to manipulate our mental state. Wake up. If you're feeling groggy, expose yourself to sunlight or bright light. Avoiding blue light before bed is crucial for sleep. A cold shower can also do the trick by triggering adrenaline and other stimulating hormones. Combat stress. Deep breathing techniques can activate the parasympathetic nervous system, rest and digest, lowering your heart rate and promoting relaxation. Optimize nutrition. Eating a balanced diet rich in nutrients like B vitamins, zinc, magnesium, vitamin C and D supports brain function and neurotransmitter production. Consuming choline, found in eggs, can enhance memory and alertness. Avoid junk food. 
Processed foods and sugary drinks cause blood sugar spikes and crashes, disrupting your energy levels and mood. Exercise regularly. Physical activity increases serotonin production, improves brain function, and reduces stress. By aligning your lifestyle with your natural biological rhythms, you can optimize your mental energy, focus, and overall well-being. Adequate sleep, proper nutrition, and regular exercise are essential for a sharper, more resilient mind. Mindfulness and CBT for improving your mindset. In this chapter, we'll explore techniques for rapidly shifting your mental state and managing your emotions. We'll delve into the principles of cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT, and mindfulness, providing you with powerful tools to overcome stress, anxiety, and negative thought patterns. You'll learn how to take control of your thoughts and perceptions, enabling you to respond to challenges with greater resilience and composure. Moving forward, you'll now dissect and dismantle those self-limiting beliefs. One effective technique is to think outside the box, essentially challenging your beliefs to determine their validity. Questioning your assumptions. For instance, if you're afraid of public speaking, ask yourself how likely it is that people will actually laugh at you. Would you laugh at someone else in that situation? Most people are considered enough to offer support, not ridicule. By dissecting your fears and devising backup plans for worst case scenarios, you can diffuse their power. In another scenario, you might be stressing about a work mistake. Ask yourself, is your supervisor truly that unreasonable? Do you have legal protections in place? Can you explain it as a genuine error due to stress or fatigue? Could you recover if you were fired? By rationally evaluating the situation, you can often transform your mental lion into a harmless kitten, significantly reducing anxiety. Hypothesis testing. Facing your fears. The next step involves hypothesis testing. Proving your new, positive beliefs are correct. To truly overcome a fear, it's not enough to simply repeat affirmations. You need to confront your worst case scenario and realize it's not as bad as you imagined. If you're terrified of public speaking, actually make a mistake in front of an audience. If you're afraid of heights, gradually expose yourself to higher elevations. By facing your fears head on, you'll likely discover they were unfounded, desensitizing yourself to the anxiety triggers. Exposure therapy. Rewiring your brain. This is similar to exposure therapy or reassociation. By repeatedly exposing yourself to the feared situation, you can break down old negative associations and create new, positive ones. Over time, your brain learns there's nothing to fear and your anxiety diminishes. Building confidence through social challenges. One of the most powerful applications of this approach is overcoming social anxiety. By gradually pushing yourself outside your comfort zone in social situations, ordering from a distant store with a funny accent, striking up conversations with strangers, making random phone calls, you'll desensitize yourself to the stress response triggered by social interactions. With practice, you'll develop the ability to converse confidently and calmly in virtually any setting. The new you, dressing for success and more. In the previous chapter, we explored how to use thought challenges and contingency planning to reduce stress in various situations. We also learned how to rewire our reactions to social scenarios, projecting confidence, and ease in conversations with strangers. The Law of Attraction Attracting Positivity now, let's delve deeper into the law of attraction. It may sound strange, but studies show that we tend to buy more expensive presents for wealthier friends. This is because they often own and appreciate higher quality items. This demonstrates how the law of attraction works. The more positive things you have in your life, the more you attract. This principle extends beyond material possessions. When you don't panic in the face of adversity, you naturally rise through the ranks. By remaining calm and composed when things go wrong, you not only gain respect but also attract opportunities and success. The power of perception. As we've seen, changing your self-perception can also change how others perceive you. 
This is where the real transformation begins. In the next chapter, we'll explore how to harness the power of perception using visualization techniques, affirmations, and goal setting to create the reality you desire. You'll learn how to cultivate a positive mindset, attract abundance, and ultimately become the person you've always wanted to be. If you believe in yourself and act accordingly, others will follow suit. This phenomenon stems from the fact that self-assured individuals often project confidence through their behavior and appearance. The confidence effect. Think about it. Someone with a straight back, a puffed-up chest, well-groomed hair, and stylish attire exudes an aura of success and importance. This nonverbal communication subconsciously influences how others perceive them. In a professional setting, this confidence can translate to faster career advancement. Supervisors might be more inclined to delegate authority, colleagues might seek their expertise, and clients might feel more at ease in their presence. These factors can quickly position the confident individual for raises, promotions, and continued success. The Law of Attraction in Action This principle extends beyond the workplace. In a social setting, a man approaching a woman will be perceived differently based on his confidence level. A self-assured demeanor, even in the absence of traditional markers of success like wealth or status, can be incredibly attractive. It subconsciously signals to the woman that he is a capable and desirable partner. This is where the law of attraction comes into play. When you exude confidence and project a positive self-image, you attract more positive experiences into your life. This isn't just about wishful thinking. It's about how your mindset and behavior influence the way others perceive and interact with you, transforming from the outside in. While we've focused on internal mental shifts, external changes can also play a significant role in boosting confidence. Taking care of your appearance, health, and personal development can profoundly impact how you feel about yourself and how others see you. Dressing well, maintaining good hygiene, and investing in self-care activities all contribute to a more confident demeanor. When you look and feel your best, you naturally project an image of success and confidence. The inside-out transformation. While external changes can be helpful, the most impactful transformation occurs from the inside out. By addressing your underlying beliefs, managing your stress response, and developing a positive mindset, you can unlock a newfound confidence that radiates from within. How to think about failure and risk. In previous chapters, we discussed how to reduce stress and harness the law of attraction to achieve success. Now, let's explore why many people struggle with fear and risk aversion and how to overcome these obstacles. The evolutionary roots of risk aversion. Our emotions evolved in a time of much greater risk. It made evolutionary sense to be risk averse in the wild, where a misjudgment could be fatal. However, in today's world, most risks we face aren't life-threatening. The worst-case scenarios we imagine rarely come to pass. Shifting your perspective. By recognizing this, you can reframe challenges and risks as opportunities for growth and learning. Embracing this mindset can be incredibly empowering, allowing you to thrive under pressure and make bold decisions. Taking risks, whether asking someone out, investing in a new venture, or pursuing a dream career, often leads to the most fulfilling experiences in life. Conversely, the true risk lies in remaining paralyzed by fear and missing out on opportunities for growth and happiness. The Hedonic Treadmill and the Pursuit of Happiness The Hedonic Treadmill refers to our tendency to adapt to positive experiences, returning to our baseline level of happiness even after achieving our goals. This can lead to a constant state of dissatisfaction, preventing us from taking risks and truly enjoying life. To break free from this cycle, we need to challenge our risk aversion and embrace the uncertainty that comes with pursuing our dreams. By shifting our perspective on failure and risk, we can find greater fulfillment and live a more vibrant life. If you're struggling to pinpoint your ideal life goals, 
Here are some prompts to spark your introspection and unearth your deepest desires. Role model inspiration. Who are your heroes? What qualities do you admire in them? Have you considered how you can cultivate those same qualities in yourself? Peak happiness recall. Think back to times when you felt truly content and fulfilled. What were you doing in those moments? Who were you surrounded by? What elements were essential to your happiness? Childhood aspirations revisited. Reflect on your childhood dreams. What did you want to be when you grew up? What activities excited you the most? Reconnecting with your younger self's unbridled enthusiasm can help you rediscover your passions. Don't be afraid to embrace vague desires, like having more financial security, spending quality time with loved ones, or achieving a better work-life balance, or specific aspirations, like becoming a renowned chef, traveling the world, or writing a captivating novel. Both are equally valid starting points. From vision to achievable steps. The next critical step is to translate your vision into actionable steps. This is where many people get stuck, often setting goals that are too far off or outside their control. For instance, aiming to lose a specific amount of weight by a certain date might be a well-intentioned goal, but it can be demotivating if progress is slow or setbacks occur. It's easy to fall into the trap of procrastination, make excuses, and ultimately feel discouraged. Instead, concentrate on taking concrete steps that move you closer to your vision. If you dream of becoming a rock star, launch a YouTube channel and consistently upload your music. If weight loss is your goal, set daily calorie and exercise targets. If you aspire to write a best-selling novel, commit to writing for a set amount of time each day. These smaller, achievable actions are entirely within your control. You either do them or you don't. If you miss a day, you simply get back on track the next. This sense of progress and momentum makes it much easier to stay committed to your plan. The power of the chain technique. The chain technique can be a helpful tool here. Mark a calendar with an X for each day you complete your task. As the chain of excess grows longer, you'll be motivated to keep it going and avoid breaking the chain. Linking actions to emotions. To stay motivated in the long run, use a modified CBT approach. Focus on the emotional reasons behind your actions. Connect those actions to your vision and the positive feelings it evokes. For example, if you want to run in the morning but struggle with motivation, visualize yourself running in the warm summer sun, feeling energized and healthy. Consider the long-term benefits. Increased stamina, improved health, and a sense of accomplishment. Contrast this with the alternative. Feeling sluggish, unhealthy, and regretful. If visualization alone isn't enough, try recording a motivational video or writing a script to watch or read when you wake up. By anchoring your actions to the positive emotions they will create, you'll be more likely to follow through. Five powerful exercises for building confidence. Self-confidence is a crucial mental tool. It makes you feel good about yourself, attracts opportunities, and projects an aura of control and capability. But how can you cultivate confidence if you're naturally shy or insecure? Understanding confidence. First, it's important to recognize that confidence isn't a single, monolithic trait, but rather a multifaceted concept. You can be confident in one area and lack confidence in another. For example, you might be a skilled writer but feel uncomfortable speaking in public. To build confidence, focus on your strengths and acknowledge that you can improve in areas where you feel less confident. Remember, everyone starts as a beginner, and with dedication and effort, you can develop any skill. Challenge yourself and embrace growth. By actively seeking out challenges and stepping outside your comfort zone, you're essentially strengthening your confidence muscle. As you achieve small victories, your confidence grows and you'll become more willing to take on bigger challenges. This is where hypothesis testing comes in. By repeatedly exposing yourself to situations that trigger your insecurities, you'll gradually desensitize yourself to the fear and anxiety they produce. 
You'll learn that the worst case scenarios you fear rarely materialize and that you're capable of handling challenges more effectively than you imagined. In the next chapter, we'll delve deeper into the science of confidence and explore five powerful exercises that can help you boost your self-esteem, overcome self-doubt, and achieve your goals with greater confidence and conviction. You have more tools at your disposal and fewer perceived flaws when you feel capable and act accordingly. This naturally boosts your confidence as people are drawn to your self-assuredness. The psychology of trying new things. Beyond that, the simple act of trying new things and embracing challenges is a powerful confidence booster. Every small victory triggers a release of feel-good hormones, reinforcing your willingness to step outside your comfort zone. To put this into practice, try learning a new skill, like juggling or counting in a different language. Each tiny win, no matter how insignificant it might seem, contributes to your overall sense of accomplishment and self-efficacy. Moreover, setbacks become less daunting as you become accustomed to picking yourself back up and trying again. This resilience builds self-esteem and reinforces the belief that you can overcome obstacles. Taking on challenging tasks. One of the most effective ways to boost confidence is to take on challenging and public tasks. Whether it's making sales calls, acquiring new skills, or leading a project, each success contributes to your growing self-worth. Visualizing success. The power of mental rehearsal. Before attempting something new, visualize yourself succeeding. This mental rehearsal activates the same brain regions as if you had actually achieved the goal, helping to dispel doubts and increase confidence. By framing challenges as opportunities for growth and listening to motivating music, you can further enhance this effect. With consistent practice, this positive self-talk can become a habit, effortlessly priming you for success in any endeavor. Power Poses The Testosterone Boost Physical posture can also play a role in confidence. Research suggests that power poses, like standing tall with arms raised overhead, can increase testosterone levels, boosting feelings of power and confidence. Investing in yourself. The ultimate confidence booster. Finally, invest in yourself. Taking care of your appearance, health, and personal development sends a powerful message to your subconscious mind. You are worthy of good things. Buying a high-quality suit, for instance, isn't just about looking good. It's a tangible investment in your self-image and confidence. The simple workout anyone can stick to. As we've seen, regular exercise can boost motivation, confidence, and mental energy. It also enhances your physical and mental capabilities, helping you achieve a wider range of goals. For many, improving physical fitness is the ultimate goal, so let's explore a simple workout that anyone can incorporate into their daily routine. Improving physical fitness is the ultimate goal, so let's explore a simple workout that anyone can incorporate into their daily routine. The 35-Minute Circuit Workout This workout is designed to be done at home, right before your morning shower, maximizing efficiency. All you need is a pull-up bar installed in a doorway. The workout consists of seven one-minute rounds, each targeting a different muscle group. Pull-ups, press-ups, tuck jumps, incline push-ups, chin-ups, jump squats, rest. Aim for as many repetitions as possible in each round. If you find the workout too challenging, modify the exercises or slow down. If it's too easy, Increase the intensity or add weights. By committing to this simple routine five times a week, you'll gradually improve your strength and fitness. This, in turn, will boost your motivation and make it easier to tackle other challenges in your life. How to maintain a positive and happy mindset. While achieving goals is important, it's equally crucial to cultivate a positive and happy mindset in the present moment. Many of us overlook the abundance of happiness already present in our lives, focusing instead on what we lack. The illusion of the hedonic treadmill. Unlocking lasting happiness. Our modern culture, 
with its relentless focus on consumerism and the pursuit of more, often traps us in a cycle of dissatisfaction. This phenomenon is known as the hedonic treadmill, where we constantly adapt to positive events, returning to our baseline level of happiness even after achieving our goals. We buy a new car, get a promotion, or embark on a dream vacation, yet the initial euphoria fades, leaving us craving the next hit of happiness. This relentless pursuit can make it difficult to truly appreciate what we already have. Instead of savoring our accomplishments and enjoying the present moment, we find ourselves chasing after the next shiny object, hoping it will finally bring us lasting happiness. However, research suggests that true happiness is not found in external circumstances. Studies have shown that even individuals who experience major life events, both positive and negative, tend to return to their baseline level of happiness over time. This means that lottery winners are not significantly happier than paraplegics after a few years. This suggests that happiness is not solely dependent on what happens to us, but rather on how we perceive and respond to those events. The path to lasting happiness. Finding contentment within. So, if happiness isn't found in material possessions or external achievements, where does it reside? The answer lies within. By cultivating gratitude, savoring the present moment, and appreciating the abundance in our lives, we can break free from the hedonic treadmill and cultivate lasting happiness. Gratitude. Taking time each day to reflect on the things we are grateful for can shift our focus from what we lack to what we have. This simple practice can profoundly impact our overall sense of well-being. Savoring. Paying full attention to the present moment and fully experiencing the joys of life, whether it's a delicious meal or a beautiful sunset, can amplify our happiness. Appreciation. Recognizing and appreciating the good things in our lives, big and small, can create a sense of abundance and contentment. Mindfulness meditation. A path to inner peace. Mindfulness meditation offers a powerful tool for cultivating happiness and reducing stress. By focusing on the present moment and observing our thoughts and feelings without judgment, we can create a sense of inner peace and calm. This practice has been shown to be as effective as painkillers in reducing pain perception, highlighting its potential to transform our emotional and physical well-being. The importance of focus. The key to lasting happiness lies in shifting our focus from what we lack to what we have. By practicing gratitude, savoring the present moment, and cultivating mindfulness, we can break free from the illusion of the hedonic treadmill and find true fulfillment. This shift in focus allows us to appreciate the abundance in our lives, including our health, relationships, personal growth, and the simple joys of daily life. By cultivating this inner wellspring of happiness, we become less reliant on external circumstances for our well-being, leading to a more resilient and fulfilling life. To further boost your confidence, focus on your successes and admirable qualities. This simple shift in focus can significantly impact how you feel about yourself. The Attitude of Gratitude Developing a grateful mindset is a powerful way to appreciate what you have. One effective method is journaling. Each night, write down three things you're grateful for and take a moment to reflect on them. Over time, this practice will enhance your awareness of the positive aspects of your life and cultivate a greater sense of happiness and contentment. Anticipation and excitement. Another strategy is to focus on things you're looking forward to. Instead of dwelling on dreaded tasks, shift your attention to upcoming birthdays, holidays, new movies, or even a simple treat like your favorite coffee. This anticipation can infuse your life with a sense of purpose and excitement, making each day more enjoyable. To ensure you always have something to look forward to, create a list of activities or experiences you'd like to try. This can range from exploring new hobbies to planning fun outings with friends and family. By having a diverse range of options, you can easily find ways to enjoy yourself without breaking the bank or overstressing. 
Documenting compliments and positive feedback. Keeping a journal of compliments you receive can also boost your confidence. Whenever someone says something kind or appreciative, write it down. Revisiting this journal can remind you of your strengths and the positive impact you have on others. Cognitive dissonance. Challenging negative self-beliefs. If you struggle with negative self-beliefs, such as feeling unattractive, you can use cognitive dissonance to your advantage. This involves consciously focusing on your positive attributes. For example, if you have beautiful eyes, luscious hair, or a charming smile, acknowledge and appreciate those features. By focusing on your positive qualities, you can create a disconnect between your negative self-beliefs and the reality of your strengths. Over time, this can help you develop a more positive self-image and enhance your overall confidence. Conclusion and Summary Embrace your inner power. Remember, lasting change takes time and practice. The first step is to recognize that everything starts within. Your focus, perception, and interpretation of the world around you shape your emotions, motivations, and ultimately, your life. By understanding the intricate connection between your brain, body, and environment, you can gain mastery over your thoughts, emotions, and behaviors. You can learn to manage your stress response, cultivate confidence, set meaningful goals, and build a life filled with purpose, joy, and fulfillment. Next Steps Embark on your journey of self-discovery. We've provided you with a wealth of knowledge and tools to help you on your journey. Now, it's up to you to apply them. Start by reflecting on your thoughts and beliefs. What are the negative patterns that are holding you back? How can you challenge and reframe them? Once you've identified your limiting beliefs, start visualizing your ideal life. Create a vivid picture of your goals and dreams and allow that vision to fuel your motivation. Take consistent action towards your goals, breaking them down into manageable steps. Remember to celebrate your successes, no matter how small they may seem. Practice gratitude, savor the present moment, and embrace the challenges life throws your way. By doing so, you'll unlock your inner potential and create a life that is truly your own.